In today's video, we are going to be looking at the general physical appearance of the German short haired pointer, or GSP for short. Welcome back to the GSP channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Debocho. I'm a canine leader here at FenriaCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the GSP, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect GSP. So if you're a lifelong GSP lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new GSP, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a future GSP video. Today's video will be a total overview and summary of the typical appearance of the GSP. Let's get started. Now, the GSP is a versatile all-purpose hunter and its appearance and build reflect that. Their head is clean cut, fairly slender for a dog of its size, with front-facing intelligent eyes. Interestingly, they don't have round eyes, but almond shape. And whilst they have light brown or even seemingly golden eyes, the breed standard calls for dark brown. Their ears are wide, sleek and smooth and hang below the jaw. This comes from their scent hound ancestors. Their ears will trail the floor whilst they are following a track, picking up as many smells as possible. They have a powerful jaw and well-developed muscles. Adding to this is their comparatively long muzzle. This is what enables them to capture game and carry it for a good distance out on a hunt. Along with that, their teeth should come together in a uniform scissor movement, meaning their grip can be gentle enough to hold onto game without fear of dropping it. This breed is not known to commonly suffer with either under or overbites. And now for maybe their most important feature, their nose. A large nose with broad and well-opened nostrils is the most desirable for this breed. It is literally built into their genes to hunt and track. It's what has made them so popular as track and trace dogs for narcotics, explosives, etc. The male GSP should stand tall and proud at 23 to 25 inches at the shoulders and weigh up to 30 kilograms. The females are only slightly smaller at around 21 to 23 inches and up to 25 kilograms. Of course, these are guide weights. It is up to you as the owner along with your vet to determine what is a healthy weight for your dog. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. They are an athletic dog with a large barreled chest, powerful hindquarters, and a typically docked tail. Whilst they do naturally have long slender tails, they're commonly docked for working purposes. They have long forelegs that attach to muscular shoulders. Their side profile is elegant to look at and they have a slight slope in their back to their hindquarters. Their rump and hind legs are pure power with extremely muscular thighs. Again, for their size, they will be long but not gangly to look at. Also, their feet are neat but large with tough pads to protect them from whatever terrain they find themselves in. Just everything about this dog oozes power, elegance and athleticism. Be prepared for the upkeep of this impressive physique. They'll walk for hours in all weathers across all terrains. With the short head type of pointer, their coat is short, smooth to touch, yet coarse to help protect their skin. Around their head, the underside of their neck and the ears, the fur is softer to the touch. The typical color of the coat is a combination of liver and white or black and white. It's common for their bodies to be predominantly speckled with a solid liver head, feet and a patch at the base of their tail. An overall solid liver color is also recognized in the official breed standard. 
the wire head type are of the same colors and markings, but in most cases, sports an impressive mustache and shaggier appearance. To recap this beautiful dog, they're athletic, elegant, and sure-footed. They are alert with bright eyes and a keen nose, and their coat is of a stunning speckled design. As aesthetically pleasing as they are, these dogs are one of the most functional breeds out there. There is a reason they have been one of the most popular hunting breeds since the 1800s. It is important to remember that educating yourself on why a dog looks the way it does can be a good indication of the type of pet you'll receive. Sometimes being cute isn't always the best reason to settle on a breed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated GSP videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the GSP channel.